Okay, so coming to sit onto the mat, and as mentioned, you may need a strap, maybe some blocks. And before we start, just adding a little bit of movement just to release the joints. So tapping the back of the knees on the ground, circling the ankles, and then crossing the legs, coming to seated position, gently rocking from side to side, just finding that space. <clears throat> lifting the bum cheeks, lifting the, the flesh of the sitting bone to find that rooting space. Then coming to seated position here, adding a little bit of circling motion of the arms. Maybe gently shrugging the shoulders, rolling the head from side to side, just to find that position. And then bringing the hands on top of the knees. Palms facing up or down. And closing the eyes. Taking the next few moments to allow yourself to arrive in the practice. Setting aside anything that doesn't serve you right now. Any of the to-do lists, the stuff bothering you, stuff on your mind, just put it to the side, just like a heavy luggage. And taking one big inhale through the nose and releasing a big sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Sending a signal to the mind, to the body that it's now time to arrive. Creating space and stillness in the mind, in the body. And gently shifting the awareness from the outside, from the sounds surrounding you, what's going on around you, to the inside, tuning in. Becoming aware of the breath and the journey taken by the air, starting at the nose, noticing the air entering the nostrils, maybe Noticing the sensation of flow, the temperature of the air coming through the nose, traveling all the way through the back of the throat and inside the lungs. Noticing the chest, gently lifting up with the inhale. And maybe see if there's any tension there that can be released. and observing the chest gently coming down with the exhale. And already perhaps starting to engage the Ujjayi breath, creating the sound with the breath. And on the next inhale, as the air travels through the body, sending the air all the way down inside the lungs and noticing the tummy lifting up with the inhale. And gently coming back down with the exhale. Rooting the breath through the tummy. Belly breathing. And then slowly scanning the body, greeting each part of the body one part at a time, starting with the toes, noticing each single toe, maybe gently wiggling the toes just to become aware of each individual toe, noticing any sensation in the side of the feet, the contact with the mat, noticing any sensation in the ankles, the shins, the calves, the knees, and as we come to the knees, observing the hands resting on the knees, observing the sensation of contact and heaviness of the hands against the knees. Carry on the journey, observing sensation in the thighs, the hips, the sitting bone, noticing the contact of the body with the ground, the sensation of pressure, of heaviness, 
with the body anchoring down through the mat. And traveling to the back, starting at the base of the spine, noticing any sensations there around the sacrum, around the lower back, around the hips. Carrying on the journey upwards, noticing any sensation around the spine, the middle back, the shoulder blades. Noticing any sensations there, any movement creating by the breath. Traveling through the front of the body now, around the navel, the tummy. Once again, noticing the tummy lifting up with the inhale and slowly coming back down with the exhale. Observing sensation around the chest, the shoulders, the neck. Becoming aware of that space around the neck, between the head and the shoulders. And observing perhaps the, the feeling of lengthening of the neck with the head as if going a little bit higher. And bringing the awareness to the head, the hair, the face, Maybe softening the muscles around the face, noticing how this means the skin feels like it's expanding, taking in more space, feeling more relaxed. And then finally, visualizing the whole of the body sitting down on the mat. Noticing the sensation of heaviness against the mat and at the same time also perhaps of lightness as if the body had started hovering just above the ground. As if floating. And just before we start, formulating an intent for today's class, whatever that is you need today, patience, forgiveness, love, care, maybe dedicating your practice to a loved one. And then slowly opening the eyes, keeping a soft gaze as we bring movement to the breath. Inhale, lifting the arms to the ceiling, clasping the hands, pushing the palms up, creating a long stretch as if waking up. Exhale, releasing the arms down. Inhale, lifting the arms to the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, folding forward, hands on the floor. Inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the arms, looking up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the arms, looking up. Exhale, folding forward. Spending the next few breaths here with the hands on the floor. Taking a moment to notice the sensation in the hips, in the lower back. Maybe gently rocking the chest from side to side. Imagine you're trying to bring the armpit towards the knee, one side at a time. And then slowly walking the hands all the way to the left, creating a long stretch on the side. One or two breaths here. And then slowly walking the hands all the way to the right side. Nice long breath here. And then coming back to the center, one more inhale, one more exhale. And on the next inhale, lifting the chest, right arm goes up. And exhale, tipping to the left, looking towards the ceiling. Inhale, coming back to the center, left arm goes up. Exhale, tipping to the side, looking up. Inhale, back to the center, right arm goes up. 
Exhale, keeping to the side. Inhale, back to the center, lifting up. Exhale, keeping to the side. On the next inhale, coming back to the center, lifting both arms. Exhale, twisting to the right, right arm behind you, left hand on your knee. Twisting through the stomach, looking back. Inhale, back to the center, lifting the arms. Exhale, twisting to the left, looking back, left arm behind. Inhale, coming back to the center, slowly releasing the legs, adding a little bit of movement here for the legs, just to release the knees and the ankles. And then crossing the legs once again, rocking forward, coming onto all four. Feel free to bring the padding for the knees. And then coming on tabletop here, ready to activate the spine with a few rounds of cat and cow. On the next inhale, dropping the tummy, really arching the back, lifting the chest, looking up. Exhale, starting by tucking the pelvis in, rounding up the back all the way to the shoulders, chin comes to the chest. Inhale, dropping the tummy, looking ahead. Exhale, rounding at the back, maybe adding a bit of rocking motion here, back and forth, keeping the back rounded. Inhale, dropping the tummy, looking ahead. Exhale, rounding at the back. Inhale, dropping the tummy, looking ahead. Exhale, rounding up the back, this time bringing the hips all the way to the heels and keeping the hands where they are. Nice long breath here in Balasana, child's pose with the arms extended. Noticing the pressure of the tummy against the thighs. And on the next inhale, coming back to all four, finding the rooting of the knees and the hands against the mat, ready to lift one arm and opposite leg at the time. On the next inhale, right arm go, goes up, extended the left leg. Exhale, back down, switching side, inhale, left leg, right, left arm, right leg. Exhale, back down, switching side, inhale, lift. Exhale, down, switching side, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, back down, switching side, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, back down. Coming to rest on the heels for a moment, removing the padding, and then back onto all four, tucking the toes under, ready to lift for downward facing dog. Inhale, hips towards the ceiling, finding a downward facing dog, and maybe gently bending one at a time here, creating space in the back of the legs. Pushing the mat away against the hands. And then when you're done creating space in the hamstrings, come into stillness here into downward facing dog. So the heels are maybe off the floor. Maybe you need to bend the knees a little bit to keep the back nice and straight. Spending the next few breaths here, navel lifted, shifting and sending the weight of the body towards the legs. On the next inhale, lifting the, the feet on the tiptoes, so lifting the heels off the ground. Exhale, bend the knees and walk the feet towards the hands until you can rest the tummy on top of the thighs. So the knees are bent, grabbing hold of opposite elbows here and slowly starting to rock from side to side in ragdoll. Nice long breath here, no pressure in the shoulders or in the neck. Just allowing the body, the top, front side of the body to hang and be pulled by gravity towards the floor. Nice long breath. On the next exhale, coming back to the center, releasing the arms and the hands are on the floor, making sure the feet are hip width apart with the feet pointing towards the front. On the next inhale, swinging the arms forward, keep the knees bent, lifting the chest, coming into Utkatasana, chair pose. 
Nice long breath here, one or two breaths, holding on, looking down, see if you can see your toes underneath the knees. Pelvis is neutral, so not tucked in, not tucked out, just neutral pel pelvis, maybe opening the arms a little bit to free the shoulders. And on the next inhale, stretching the legs, releasing the arms down. Nice long breath here. Ready to bring the, our attention to the feet now. So focusing on the feet and the sole of the foot, making sure the feet are really spread out against the mat. Maybe gently lifting the toes up and down, spreading the toes, and then lifting the heels, so coming on the tiptoes, and then lifting the toes, coming on the heels, gently moving the weight left to right, really finding that contact of the sole of the feet with the ground. And then when you're done, making sure the chest is nice and open, so rolling the shoulders out, creating length in the back, allowing the arms to simply stay on the side of the body. Nice long breath here, noticing that contact of the feet with the ground. And from here, since today is all about balance, closing the eyes. And as we close the eyes, noticing how the body is adjusting to this lack of visual reference to keep our balance. Maybe you'll feel your body swaying a little bit. You'll feel some muscles starting to activate. Just becoming aware of all this tiny little movement that happens without you even noticing, without your awareness to keep you upright and balanced. Nice long breath. And bringing the awareness once again to the body, starting with the feet, the sole of the feet, touching the ground, maybe gently lifting the toes, spreading the toes, noticing the contact of each toe with the mat. And see if perhaps you can crunch the toes as if you were grabbing the floor with the toes. Noticing the ball of the feet touching the ground, the arch of the foot, the heel. And then traveling mentally upwards alongside the legs, the hips, the back, the tummy, the chest, the shoulders, the neck. And then gent gently starting to bring the weight of the body on the left foot, on the left leg. So you'll find that your hips are going a little bit to the left, just bringing the weight onto the left until very slowly, still keeping the eyes closed. Maybe you can start lifting the right foot gently off the floor. So bending the right leg, coming on the tiptoe here of the right foot, maybe extending the arms for extra balance. See if you can lift the right foot off the floor, balancing on the left foot while the eyes are closed. Amazing how difficult it is to balance without the visual reference. So if any point you lose the balance, please bring the right foot back down. Nice long breath here. Just exploring the sensation, exploring, finding the balance while the eyes are closed. And then slowly releasing the right foot back down. Feel free to gently move from left to right, still keeping the eyes closed. Ready to do the same on the, on the right side. So bringing the weight onto the right leg, right foot, finding that balance, slowly bending the left leg, bringing the foot on the tiptoe of the left side. And then slowly, see if you can start lifting the left foot off the ground, Playing with the balance, noticing how hard the right foot is working to keep that balance. Bringing down the left foot as much as you need, whenever you need.
just training the brain to find that balance without our visual contact, without our visual references. And on the next exhale, slowly release the foot, opening the eyes, finding yourself maybe having moved on the mat. Nice long breath here. Feel free to stretch the back of the feet on the ground just to release that tension we just created in the feet. Nice long breath here. And then coming to the front of the mat, bringing the blocks in front of you, they might be useful here to help with the balance. Feet together or a little bit apart. On the next inhale, lifting the right knee up. Right hand comes on the right knee. Left hand can stay on your hip. Inhale, stretching the right leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bend. Still keep that right leg lifted, right knee up. Switching the hand now, right hand on your hip. Left hand, find the corner of your right knee. Starting to slowly twist the body towards the right. Twisting the chest towards the right. And then perhaps extending the right arm to the back. Nice long breath here. Feeling that left leg working really hard. And on the next exhale, slowly traveling back to the center. Keep the right leg up, crossing the right leg over the left, bending the left leg, hands in prayer pose here. Inhale, exhale, slowly folding forward. That's when the blocks can come in handy. Holding on, extending the arms to find the blocks, or maybe bringing the hands in prayer pose here while in standing. Figure four. On the next inhale, slowly coming back up, release the right leg. Once again, feel free to do what you need to release the tension on the left side, maybe stretching the back of the feet on the ground and ready to do the other side. Finding the weight on the right foot, right leg, inhale, lifting the left knee up, right hand on the hip, left hand on your knee. Inhale, stretching the left leg, exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch, exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch, exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch, exhale, bend, keep the knee up, switching side with the hands, right hand holding onto the corner of your left knee, left hand on your hip, and then as you exhale, slowly twisting the chest towards the left, maybe at some point, extending the left arm behind you. Nice long breath here. And on the next exhale, slowly traveling back to the front, Crossing the left leg over the right, still balancing, hands in prayer pose, inhale, exhale, forging forward, bending the supporting leg, maybe extending the arms to find the ground or maybe the blocks. And then perhaps at some point, bringing the hands in prayer pose. And on the next inhale, Lifting back up, release the left leg, adding a little bit of movement of the feet, maybe stretching the back of the feet on the ground, noticing the tension and the, the hard work that's happened in the ankles, the shins, the calves. Moving the blocks a little bit further up, feet together now at the top of the mat. Inhale, lifting the arms to the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, folding forward, hinging at the hips. Bend the knees if you need to, so the back stays nice and straight. Inhale, halfway lift back parallel to the mat. Exhale, hands on the floor, stepping the feet to the back of the mat, coming into high plank, just spending one breath here in high plank, squeezing the body. On the next exhale, you've got the options to bring the knees down first or lowering yourself down in one line. Inhale, lifting the chest, high cobra, looking ahead. On the next exhale, coming onto the knees, tucking the toes under. Inhale, hips to the ceiling, 
Back into downward facing dog. Ready to play with balance here in downward facing dog. So making sure that the hands and the feet are creating a rectangle shape. So the hands are really spread out, feet pushing against the mat. On the next inhale, lifting the right leg up, exhale back down. Inhale, lifting left, exhale back down. Now bringing the same movement to the arms, keeping the feet rooted. Inhale, right arm goes up, exhale back down. Inhale, left arm goes up, exhale back down. Now see if we can bring both an arm and a leg up at the same time, opposite side. When you're ready, and you can see what works best. Maybe you'll find that bringing the arm first and then the leg second works best. Maybe both at the same time work best. Maybe the leg first works best. See what happens, explore. On the next inhale, right arm goes up, left leg goes up. Exhale back down. Inhale, switching side. Left hand, right foot up. Exhale back down. Switching side, inhale, right hand, left foot. Exhale back down, last time, switching side, inhale, left arm, right leg. And exhale back down. One more breath here. On the next exhale, slowly release the knees down onto the ground. Coming to rest onto the heels, just to release the arms, the wrists, the elbows. It's a lot of balance, but also lots of strength balancing in a two-legged um, downward dog. So making sure we add a little bit of movement here. Nice long breath. Back onto all four, ready to lift once again, tucking the toes under. Inhale, hips to the ceiling. On the next inhale, lifting the right leg up. Exhale, sending the right foot all the way to the front between the hands, keeping the back foot on the toes. When you're ready, inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the arms up, high lunge, warm breath here. Now using the arms in any way you need, you may need to, you may want to use the arms to give you some momentum on the next inhale, pushing forward, coming onto standing position, left knee up, nice long breath here, hands in prayer pose if you want. On the next exhale, starting to pivot the body forward, sending the left foot all the way to the back. Supporting leg can be a little bit bent, maybe stretching the legs, arms on either side. Exhale, releasing the left foot all the way to the back, back into high lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, folding forward, hands on the, on the mat around your right foot, and then sending the right foot to the back, back into high plank. Exhale, knees down first if you want, and then releasing yourself down in one line. Inhale, lifting the chest, looking ahead. Exhale, back onto all four, tucking the toes under. Inhale, hips to the ceiling, downward facing dog. One breath here. On the next inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, bringing the left foot all the way to the front between your hands. Inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the arms. High lunge. One breath here. Exhale if you want to release the arms down. Inhale, pushing forward. Right knee goes up at the front. Hands in prayer pose here. Balancing on the left leg. Exhale, tipping the body forward. Sending the right leg to the back. Extending the arms on the other side. Warrior three. Exhale, releasing the right foot all the way to the back. Back into high lunge, inhale, arms to those, towards the ceiling. Exhale, folding forward, hands on the floor, framing your right foot, left foot, sending the foot to the back of the mat, high plank. Exhale, lowering yourself down. Inhale, lifting the chest, looking ahead. 
Exhale, back onto all four, tucking the toes under. Inhale, hips to the ceiling, back into downward facing dog. One or two breaths here. Exhale, bend the knees, look up. Inhale, stepping the feet towards the front, halfway, and then bending the knees until you can rest the tummy onto the thighs. Inhale, swinging the arms forward, lifting the chest, keep the knees bent, Utkatasana. Chair pose. Nice long breath here. Maybe bringing the hands in prayer pose for a moment as we're going to lift on the tiptoes while in chair pose. When you're ready, inhale, lifting on the tiptoes. Exhale down, heels down. Inhale, lifting on the tiptoes. Exhale back down. Once again, inhale, lift the hip heels coming on the tiptoes. Exhale back down, inhale, lifting back, stretching the legs, nice long breath here. Maybe adding a little bit of movement, stretching the feet on the floor. For the next one, you may want to grab your strap. <clears throat> so holding on to the strap on one side, I'm going to keep it on the left side. So I'm holding it with my left hand. Hands on your hips, bringing the weight onto the left foot. Inhale, lifting the left right knee up, sorry. Nice long breath. Once again, bringing the left hand, still holding onto the strap on the side of the knee. And a big inhale here as you exhale. Once again, twisting to the right, extending the right arm. Nice long breath. So you may wonder why you're holding on to the strap on the next exhale, traveling back to the center, bringing your right foot inside the strap. And actually, if you're quite open, maybe you can grab onto your right toe with your right uh, fingertips, uh, your right index, middle finger and thumb. But if that's a bit too much, that's where we're holding on to the strap. Inhale, holding on to the strap, stretching the right leg, holding on with the left arm. Exhale, starting to twist the chest towards the back and maybe extending the right arm. Exhale, slowly traveling back to the center, releasing the right foot down. And once again, adding a bit of movement, noticing how much work has gone into the left foot and the left leg. Ready to do the other side. So holding onto the strap, if you're using the strap with the right hand, weight coming onto the right leg, hand sitting on the hips. Inhale, left knee goes up, right hand on the corner of your left knee. As you exhale, twisting the body, twisting the chest towards the left, extend the arms towards the back. Left foot really active, left foot flexed. Nice long breath here. Exhale, traveling back to the center. So you've got the option either using the strap, bringing the left foot inside the strap. If you're not using, um, if you're not using a strap, holding onto the big toe. Inhale, stretching the left leg, holding onto the strap with the right hand. Exhale, twisting the chest towards the left, extending the left arm to the back. Nice long breath. Exhale, coming back to the center, release the foot and adding a little bit of extra motion here to release the feet. Nice long breath. Now, once again, bringing the awareness to the feet. Weight coming onto the left foot and starting to lift the right foot. Right foot can come against the ankle, against the calf, or maybe you can bring it all the way inside the thigh. And if it's inside the thigh, making sure the thigh is pushing against the foot and the, push, the foot pushing against the thigh. Tree pose, hands in prayer pose, Rikshashana. Nice long breath here. And perhaps if you want opening, spreading your arms, just like the branches of the tree, connecting with the energy of the universe. 
remembering we are all connected, connected. We are all part of the same thing, of the same universe. Exhale, hands back in prayer pose, releasing the right foot, adding extra bit of motion, whatever you need to release the tension on the left side, and then bringing the weight onto the right foot. Left foot resting against the ankle, maybe against the calf, or maybe going all the way up inside the thigh. Hands in prayer pose here. And making sure your gaze is attached to something that doesn't move, helping with the balance, and perhaps at some point, spreading the arms. Nice long breath. Exhale, hands back down in pro pose, releasing the left foot. And once again, adding a little bit of motion here, just to release the sole of the feet, the ankles. And coming back to the front of the mat, really going for a balance, um, focused flow. So making sure the blocks are at the front, standing up and stepping one big step behind so that when we're going to tip forward, your arms will find those blocks quite naturally. Bringing the weight onto the left leg. Inhale, starting to pivot the body forward, sending the left leg to the back, extending the arms, finding the blocks. So resting and supported here by both hands. Slowly bringing the left hand so that it's a bit more aligned with your left foot and starting to open the body towards the right. So the right hip is now opening up, right hand lifting towards the ceiling. Half moon, Ardha Chaldasana. Nice long breath here. You can stay here holding on to the block or maybe see if you can lift a little bit and simply hang here. Nice long breath. Exhale, slowly pivoting back towards the mat. Release the right leg, lift the chest. Once again, adding a little bit of movement here, feeling that burn in the left leg. Ready for the other side. I'm going to turn around so that it's easier to see. Once again, placing the blocks. One step behind the blocks. Bringing the weight onto the right leg, inhale, starting to lift the left knee up, exhale, pivoting the body forward, send the left leg to the back, extend the arms, finding that support. Left leg nice and active, right foot really strong against the mat. Moving the right block a little bit so you're lining with the right foot, opening the body towards the left, slowly starting to lift the left arm towards the ceiling. Left leg parallel to the mat, left foot flexed. Imagine your heel, the left heel is pushing against an invisible wall. Nice long breath. On the next exhale, slowly traveling to, towards the floor here, facing the floor, release the left foot. Lifting the chest, adding whatever movement you need once again to release. And then feet together. Top of the mat or a little bit, uh, one step from the top of the mat. Hands in prayer pose, inhale, lifting on the tiptoes, finding the balance on the tiptoes. Spending a few breaths here, really spreading those toes onto the ground, noticing the ball of the foot really pushing against the mat. As you exhale, starting to bend the knees, keeping the back straight, slowly lowering yourself down as slow as you can until you are all the way down, balancing on the tiptoes. Nice long breath here. On the next exhale, gently 
bringing the bum onto the mat and then lifting the feet off the ground, coming into Navasana. So bringing the hands just behind the knees here, just to adjust, making sure your back is nice and straight, shoulders open, so you're leaning back a little bit. And when you're ready, opening the arms. Nice long breath here. Essentially balancing on the bum, on sitting bone. Nice long breath. On the next exhale, release the feet, pull, grabbing onto the strap. You may need the strap for the next one. So making sure the strap is within your reach now. Once again, leaning the back a little bit when you're ready, inhale, lifting the knees, lifting the feet off the ground, sorry. You can hold on to the knees for a moment and opening the arms. So if you're using the strap, take the strap, now bringing the strap behind the feet, still keeping the feet lifted. And when you're ready, feet together, inhale, stretching the legs, keep the back nice and straight, holding on to the feet with the strap. If you want to try without the strap, lower, bend the knees, grab onto the big toes, and lift, so you may need if you're trying with the, without the strap, you may find that opening the feet a little bit, bringing space will allow you to find the space. And then when you're ready, holding on to the big toes, stretching the legs, back is nice and straight. Nice long breath here. The tummy is nice and active, front of the legs nice and active, the back is nice and straight. And when you're ready, whether you're using the strap or not, starting to bend the knees, knees goes to the side, opening up, bringing the sole of the feet together, readying ourselves for butterfly, butterfly pose, so holding on to the feet while balancing. Nice long breath here, just staying here for a moment. And on the next exhale, release the feet on the ground, close to the body, Badakonasana, butterfly pose. So feel free to adjust in any, in any way you need. Holding on to the feet, pushing the knees towards the ground. Back is nice and straight, chin slightly to the chest to create length in the back. You can stay here for a few breaths. Or if you want on the next exhale, folding forward, hinging at the crease of the hips here, keeping the back nice and straight, only going as, as low down as your back can stay straight. Looking towards the floor, Nice long breath. On the next inhale, lifting the chest, stepping the feet a little bit further out in front of you, still sole to sole, so creating a diamond shape with the legs. Big inhale here. Exhale, folding forward, aiming to bring the head towards the feet, cupping the feet with the hands, and this time allowing the back to round up. So the spine taking its natural curve, no tension in the neck or in the shoulders, maybe gently rocking from side to side, just to make sure. And spending the next few breaths here. Noticing sensations happening in the body and maybe closing the eyes.
On the next inhale, slowly coming back up, gently helping the knees up, stretching the legs, maybe lifting the flesh of the sitting bone. Legs together, once again, you may want to use your strap. Legs to, together, feet flexed towards the ceiling, arms on either side of the body to start with. So creating length in the back. Nice, long back. Navel sucked in, chin slightly to the chest. Dandasana. Nice, long breath here. On the next inhale, lifting the arms to the ceiling, holding on to the strap if you're using the strap. Exhale, folding forward, keeping that length with the arms bringing the tummy to the thighs and then at some point lowering the arms strap behind the feet or if you can maybe grabbing hold of your big toes with middle finger index and and thumb sit it forward fold keeping the back nice and straight aiming to squeeze that space between the tummy and the thighs On the next inhale, slowly lifting the chest, leaning back a little bit, bringing the hands behind you, bending the legs, feet on either side of uh, the side of your mat. So the feet are quite wide. And then gently starting to rock the knees from side to side, creating a windshield motion, noticing the sensation this creates in the hips, in the side of the hips, in the lower back. Nice long breath. And on the next inhale, gently coming back up, release the arms, add a little bit of movement. We're going to come down, lying on the back. So if you need to do anything beforehand, so for example, if you want to bring a, a blanket, Bring your towel on the mat, close curtains, whatever you need to do. And then slowly releasing yourself down onto the back. Finding a really comfortable position for Shavasana. Legs slightly apart. Arms spread out on the side, palms facing up. Feet flopping to the side maybe gently rocking the head from side to side just to find that neutral position for the neck. Closing the eyes. Taking one big inhale through the nose and releasing a big sigh through the mouth. Releasing any tension from anywhere in the body. and allowing the body to feel heavier and heavier. Sinking into the mat a little bit deeper and deeper with each breath, as if melting with the ground, becoming one with Mother Earth, feeling heavy. Observing if any thoughts are still coming to the mind and without any judgment, just align those thoughts to simply roll away. Just like clouds in the sky being pushed away by the wind, revealing the blue sky behind your inner place.
Bring the awareness back to the breath. And starting to wiggle the toes, the fingers, slowly bringing movement back into the body. Bending the legs, lifting the knees to the chest, holding on to the knees. Gently rocking from side to side. Coming to rest onto one side. Head supported by the hands, knees to the chest, eyes are still closed. Just taking one final moment before reconnecting with the rest of the day. And when you're ready, no rush. Slowly pushing yourself back up. Back to seated position, cross-legged. Ready to close the class with an arm, hands resting on the knees. Feel free to join me. Inhale. Ah. Bringing the hands in prayer pose to the forehead. May our thoughts be filled with kindness and compassion. Bringing the hands to the mouth. May our words be filled with kindness and compassion. And finally, bringing the hands to the heart. May our action be filled with kindness and compassion. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day and I hope to see you soon again. Thanks. Bye-bye.